One. Welcome to the podcast that brings you raw and original takes on a wide range of sports and entertainment. It's your boy Henny Drake. It's John John. And this is the Fan, Fan Perspective. Perspective. We ain't got all the facts. Nope. But we all gonna keep it 100 with all the opinions that we do give. One zero zero at a zero one thousand. Welcome to uh, episode 216. You 16. heard? Fan Perspective Podcast, we are on Fam TV. Fam sure. TV is where you go down right there, you hit pause, go down, and hit that subscribe button with the little bell next to it. You know what I'm saying? It helped the channel out, man. Just show us some love, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard. Fact, fact, man. But, uh, yeah, man. Another, another another week, man. How you been, man? Good, just maintaining, man. Maintaining. You know? Checking my mm-hmm. aqua, just maintaining. For you know real. What I'm I feel like I've been on a water diet. Like, I'm up. Hey, nothing wrong, man. Keep that shit up. You're looking good. I'm trying to get there. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, hard things are just, you know, certain certain things is hard, hard to get away from. So, you know what I'm saying? You know it's what? It's, it's tough, though, because it's like, it's not. We were just speaking on before this about our family is being tough to be on a diet because of. Well, what's always being cooked and it's always a little get together where everybody, you know what I'm saying? And, right. and the food ain't healthy. Like, just, you know, to be blunt, the food ain't healthy. Even the, the salads be anti positive. They got ham and all that. Yeah, you know so, like, you yeah, know. But um, it feel good too. And you could, it, it's, it's funny because you could tell it's like when you do go against the grain, I guess for anything, but when you do go against the grain, it, it it's weird to people. It's awkward to people. Yeah. But they respect it. Right. But they don't know how to, because it's not normal to them. Because right. it's like, Titi, uh, Titi came up to me, um, Titi Naira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She came up to me the other day, and, you know what I'm saying? She she like whispered to me. She was like, she look good. <laughs> I, was, I was like, why you whispering that? It was, it, but cool, but <laughs> right, right, I, right. <laughs> thank you. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, right, right. That's a fact. I, I get the same thing, like, you know what I'm saying? For the last couple of years, like, you know, like, not going ham on like the drinking, like mm-hmm. you know, we got some functions. I'm like, nah, I'm straight, like you know what I'm saying, like or I sip something, like, you know what I'm saying, like you said, it be it be that's what's up, but it be like an awkward, like yeah, that's what's up. Just like, like, they, like for real, like yeah. they looking at you like, or, like for, real? for real. A lot of people still just be like for real, like yeah, man, you know. Man. And that's not even with the drink. I'm just talking about my, my weight. No, you know I know. What I'm, I'm just, saying, I'm my just saying, just like you said, like, just in general. Like but the whole said. time, my whole time, well, I like, get another plate, get another plate. Right, yeah, trying to feed you, though. You know, our family, you know how that go. <laughs> well, I be like, even. you look good, but eat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, you ain't, yeah. You ain't going to our family house without leaving with a plate or something. They like, you're going to make sure. Even if you just stop by, you know, unexpectedly, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, when I stop by uh, T.D. Julie house to get something. This was months ago for the for the baby shower. Like she done knit us man, she sent me home with food and shit like that. Like I <laughs> I ain't been her house in years. I can't she would just do it as a favor on, you know, so and so and she sending me home with shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All this other shit. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, it, it's 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 cool, you know, it's it, our things is a good thing to go against the grain, like I would say, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you said, you eating healthier and, you know, not drinking and shit like that, you know what I mean? Myself not drinking as much, you know. What I mean, trying to get healthier and shit like that. As far as we put in our body, but you know, yeah, like I feel like you know what I'm saying. Just to be blunt, you know what I'm saying, fam. If you listening, I'm just I just gotta be real. Like we not healthy family. No hell no. Like no. And and it gotta be somebody to. It, I, I don't mean this as offensive. This is why I said I'm just be blunt because this might seem offensive to people. To our our elders, you know what I'm saying. You gotta break generational generational curses. Facts, factor. You know what I'm saying, and and it starts. I'm I'm learning a lot about all this all this stuff. You know what I'm saying, and it mm-hmm. just, it starts by what you eat. Yeah, definitely. That's, listen, anything with weight loss or healthiness, like far as trying to hit weight loss and just you know what I mean exercise and shit like that. The, the key thing is to eat. But you know what it is is you know what it like the core of it is. Discipline. Discipline is the number one key. You know what I'm saying? That's like key number one. Key. It's it's so tough because you, you you influence and, and what it is like on a, on a spiritual level is if you want to go there, it's the devil. You know what I'm saying? It's the devil. It's exactly. evil at every moment and trying to pull you to that other. And you just gotta you gotta that discipline is going to also transfer into. Other aspects of your life, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Fact, Whatever yeah. you do, that's that's what you gotta think about. 
And it, it transferred into other things, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, if you're doing some healthy, then, you know what I'm saying, it'll transfer to, like you said, your, your brain. Now you're thinking other things as well, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Helping your brain health, which you can, you know, help you with, you know, with our podcast or other things, you know what I'm saying, that you were thinking about, now you're thinking about in the clear mind. Brain, yeah, and you know bring, you bring you confidence. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Brain health, knowing, you know what I'm saying, knowing that, just the action of completing a goal, you know what I'm saying? No, listen, I, I be, yeah, like I said, I be trying, to, you know, with the healthiness and stuff like that. And sometimes I be, you know, like I said, I'll be happy, you know, that I accomplish something. Like, I'll be like, all right, you know, I fast, I ain't eat. You know, I'll be trying to, like I said, to 11, 12 o'clock. And then that, that choice was, you know what I mean? I got Nature Valley and a banana. And I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? That was a healthy choice, you know what I mean? Then, but I had for lunch, it'd be some grilled chicken. Cool. I ain't even go. I ain't even go in the cookie stash. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, oh, okay. Then I waited all the way to dinner to eat. You know, what you done looked at them cookies a few times. Oh, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. But I am proud of myself that you know what I'm saying. Like I said, you know, mine is all in moderation. That you know, if I pack some, I'm packing it light. Like it ain't. I ain't eating eight cookies. You know what I mean? Got mm-hmm. that light full pack. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm trying to get down to two. But I said two Slowly. is like that number yeah, when yeah, they yeah. talk about cookies. Right, right, right exactly. It's <laughs> full of Oreos. Yeah. Little Oreos or something. It's you know full right now. I had the chips of Oreo, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's full right now. I did have a, you know what I'm saying? I made a, 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 a spinach wrap, you know what I'm saying? Turkey and mm-hmm. cheese and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. But you know, it was the it was the cookies that, you know, balanced it out. I, was yeah. I be challenging myself sometimes, like like right now I'm in, in the middle of like I said intermittent fasting, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's what I do. Intermittent. But I'll be trying I'll be trying though to challenge myself. I'll be like thinking like when the last time I ate? Okay, that like twelve hours? Okay. Let me see just how far I could go more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just let me see to see how far until I, I absolutely Listen. need something. Listen. Can I go a few days? Like, I mean, and then you think about it, because again, in our family, you know how fucking foreign going three days without eating. What the fuck are you on? Like, right. you know, they're going to look at me like I'm a drug addict. Like, you no, want some drugs or something? That's, that's like, that's fact. But that's it's fact. like, it's so normal everywhere else in the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fast three days is like light work. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, and we got we got to kind of teach that. I guess that's why we're here on the podcast because we got to teach that to our family. Like three days straight water, right? Like you might learn some shit about your body. You know what I'm saying? You, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> your body going through a detox. Yeah, you know it, it, for sure. You gotta let everything get out, and then because yeah. because you because we old. Like you know, not old, but we. Nah, I'm getting old. <laughs> You, you, we up there, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You just starting your prime. But you I'm talking, about, you know, in general, we yeah, up there, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know, in the general consensus, you know. What no, I'm I want to challenge myself the one day to fully juice a day. Yeah. So look, that's what I'm saying. General consensus is like we all don't feel good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we all be like, damn, like. I just wonder how it feel if I ain't feel this pain, like wherever it is on the body. Maybe yeah. my, if my ankle ain't hurt, I wonder how people feel with good ankles. You know what right. I'm saying? Like right. <laughs> just right. shit right. like that. But like, you no, know, doing the fast or something. Technically, I obviously I haven't done it crazy, but you know I'm trying to challenge myself. But technically, it's supposed to like clear out everything, and then now you had a restart, so you might be able to feel. How you felt or feel that, okay, this is different. I might feel lighter. Yesterday, I did 10 pull-ups. I ain't did pull-ups in like a year. Listen, man. Just because I'm lighter. I know that, though. I know I'm lighter. You know what I'm saying? So. Nah, listen. If I, if I, get, a, if I get a good, see, my, like you said, the body tells you. It was like, easy, though, too. Yeah. It was easy. Yeah. Like you yeah. said, your, your body speaks to you. So it's like, yeah. if I get a good week with eating and, you know, a couple of days in the gym, I feel amazing, you know what I'm saying? If I go a week or whatever without really doing anything, then like you said, you feel the aches and the pain. Like, damn, why the fuck my back hurt a little mm-hmm. bit more? That's because you ain't stretched that muscle or you ain't do this or that, you know what I'm saying? Or you just ain't go back to it fast right. enough. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because what I've been no- shit, I mean, I'm, I've noticed since I was young, you know, being an athlete, that when you are sore, it take you starting that workout again to get unsore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah it's like certain shit. And at the same time, you got, you know, as you get older and just any age, I would say you, your body will let you know, nigga, when, you, know, you just got to relax. You yeah. got to relax. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I definitely listen to that. But like I said, it's a, it's a good balance. Like I said, I'm down I'm down five, so I want to get another five to ten. You know what I'm saying? By the tough mode, I want to get ten down. Ten down, down ten more. 
Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? If I get you know, five and a tough month, tough that's discipline right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That take yeah. discipline right there. Yeah, tough mother. Uh, I'm just pushing myself in two weeks. Shit, little five k. So I'm trying to do that. I only got shit a half a week and a half to really tap yeah. in all the way into Bring that. It out there, bringing water. Yeah, yeah. To tap in really into that. My time for tornadoes. All right. So. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So I'm pushing myself to that. I'm, 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 like I said, I'm in decent shape. So if I just discipline myself to just, all right, I'm going to run three miles. I want to do three miles four times before I do the yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's my goal, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I got a week and a half. That shit is not this Sunday, the following Sunday. So, you know what I'm saying? That's my little challenge to myself. And, you know, like I said. But shit, everybody listening, though, I know this ain't no nutritional podcast or nothing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it lead into sports entertainment. It, it, it lead into we could we see see watch how we turn this. Watch how I turn this. Right, how I turn it right quick because we in a little we live a little time period right now where we are seeing athletes at the ultimate peak form, and we talking about Olympic athletes. You know what I'm saying? Who they got all this nutritional shit down packed. Trust me, they already know. Everything. And they and they, they doing the synthetic stuff too. That's supposed to be act like natural stuff too. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they doing everything. They know they body Olympians are bodies are in peak top humanly right. shape. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? Most of them. Well, nah. For what they, they in the Olympics? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the best of the best. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. Like, <laughs> saying, like I said, most. <laughs> what um, Olympics is going crazy, man. I mean. It's, it's all the trials. It's all everything right now. The Olympics is in about three weeks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? End of the month, it starts. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Well, obviously, we, we USA. You know what I'm saying? So USA. Let me just let me just spark like little highlights. You know what I'm saying? People that not all the way tapped in. You know what I'm saying? No allows. Mm-hmm. He's the one in two hundred defending champ. You know what I'm saying? At the worlds. At the worlds. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like he has he, he has a very good chance at getting close to Usain Bolt's record for the 200. Mm. I feel like nobody has a chance to catch the 100 record. Um, but he he made the team. Obviously, you know Shakari Richardson. She running that 100. That's a good shout out to her. Good comeback uh, story. Yep. Shout out to um Wilson Quincy Wilson. Mm. Youngest athlete ever to make an Olympic team, you know what I'm saying? I think he's 16 or 17. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you said that last week, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ran that 400, he made the 400 uh, relay team. Mm-hmm. Um, the, they said the swimming USA gonna take it. Jamaica got some, got a new hitter. He kind of like on some boat, Usain Boat stuff mm-hmm. where he like 22 years old, but. Yeah, like you said, Olympics he a big eight. motherfucker like though. You like, said, the Olympics eight, four years, man. Cause, so you get to showcase yourself. Cause what's the name? Usain Bolt was six five, and that's kind of like what got him. And that's that's another thing. I, I put this on Facebook the other day. If you don't think fate is real, the fastest man to ever live last name is Bolt. Like, come on now, <laughs> like, right? <laughs> like, you can't make this up. That's, that's God playing with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. You put that together. That's a fact. <laughs> but. I don't think nobody touching his record, but I, I love the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? They got Olympic basketball going on. Yeah, you, you know, Kawhi um, calling it quits already. He said, yeah, I just want to. That's why I said most of them. I just want to check out. He went to the strip club. I don't know if you saw that clip. Yeah, yeah, I just saw it. He came on. <laughs> My dog. Hey, man, he trying to, trying to, you know. You had to put a little juice on that, that, that knee, man. You Yo, get, don't got no emotions. <laughs> you had to put that things on that knee, man. You know what I'm saying? Rub that belco on that knee, man. You know? You but, know? But, yeah, yeah, Derek White, you know, replacing him and stuff like that. But, but hold on. I, we, can't, we can't speak past this, though. I'm not, he getting the belco on the knee. But it's like <laughs> he threw some money in, like, some people are he just... He rubbed the ass a little bit and was just like, and no emotions. <laughs> some people are just emotionless, man. Like, it, it's like, some people are just serious all the time. Like, that shit is funny how that shit was. Right. Imagine how the bitches got to be feeling like... Do you like this nigga? Right. Pause. Right. Ain't no pause, dude. Like, shit, the woman is definitely asking that shit. No, nah, I, mean, I know they asking, but I, I should have said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They asking and shit like that. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Just like, you know, we was talking about a little relationship shit before. Like, somebody got to put up with that shit. Like, 
Well, who knows? It might be it might be a front for everybody. It might be a different person. You know what I mean? When it's one on one. You know what? Shannon Sharp. He did the podcast with uh, who Maybe. was it? Cam. Who that? Shannon Sharp. And did with Cam. Cam Newton. He did Cam Newton. Yeah, that was recently last. Couple weeks. Mm-hmm. He said something about like he was yeah. like he did his last one. I think. Making, I mean, making good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, but he did the Cam show. So Cam was asking him the question. Okay. And, and you know, obviously they're gonna bring up relationships. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. yo, uh, what's up with you? Like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. And he was like, man, listen. He was like, the last girl I had. She would go out with her friends and they'll be like, Oh, you got Shannon Sharp. You, he's so funny. He all this. He out there. He outgoing. And she'd be like, That ain't him. Cause he had the house. He was like, Ain't no, he's like, Ain't no TVs on. Ain't none of that. I'm in my room. If the TV on, the sound is off. He like, I ain't talking to nobody. I'm to myself. I'm. Nah, for real. That shit. Like you said, it's op- it could be totally opposite. Like you said, he looked fine and, and, and dandy. And like you said, outgoing. And then you go in the house, that motherfucker mute. Like, he got his dogs and he yeah. good. And they could be odds. I mean, for Kawhi, it could be the opposite. You could be like, this nigga dog. Well, this nigga probably, you know, when he go with this girl or whatever, nigga probably a sweetheart. He probably funny. He probably, you know what I'm saying? Like Kevin Hart in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. So you can't judge a book by his cover, man. That's for sure. All right. Uh, we got to press pause right quick. You know what I'm saying? Oh. We're back. Yeah, hey, man. Yeah, man. We're talking about. Uh, Team USA, man. How how you feel about like the whole rollout of Team USA? Um, it's been a lot of bullshit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. for for what it is, for what it is. Right, right, right. Like Jalen Brown today was like he wasn't happy. <laughs> I, at least I feel like he wasn't happy. I seen it on Twitter. I was like, oh shit, he ain't feeling that. What he said? He put that. the he put the little the little uh, monocle emoji like like. What's going on type shit like oh, you probably ain't getting no burn. Nah, he he didn't. That's what I'm saying. Listen, man. Cause Derek White, I'm saying he he looking at oh y'all got Derek White, I'm fucking final MVP. Hey, uh, <laughs> Olympics is different, man. <laughs> Olympics is different. You might be the man. That's when your your uh, uh ego gotta go to the side when you're in Team USA. Just get Back that ego, right? Yeah, just get that seven minutes or whatever you're gonna get or whatever. You used to thirty something, just get that seven minutes to shine. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And most of these cats, like I said, starters for the they whole life. So now you're gonna come to TMU, you gotta say, you know, they might run eight man, nine man, you know what I'm saying? Like you said. And you're gonna get that seven minutes, so mm-hmm. get that seven minutes, nigga, and shut the fuck up. No, he not on the team though. Oh, he not on the team? No, they didn't invite him. It's uh, it's Jason Tatum and Derek White. They, that's why I was like Oh, and they got Drew Holiday. Yeah, and Drew Holiday. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that's why when they said Derek White, I was like, Derek White. They got Jalen Brown. Then I went on Twitter and he put the emojis up. I'm like, oh, he's not happy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I thought when I first seen Derek White, I'm like, oh, Jalen Brown probably on vacation or some shit. You know what I'm saying? He probably not dealing with it because he's got his chip and he good. Yeah. And then I looked. That's when I looked on Twitter and I seen the emojis. I'm like, oh, he's not happy. <laughs> I, I was gonna, I was gonna uh, 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 talk shit and just put, uh, damn, Kate, Clay and Clayton got snubbed again. I was gonna write down. <laughs> one of these. I was gonna write down one of these. Shit. They gonna put it on the man's team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they need to put Cooper Flag on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, he, that's what people tanking for for next year. Bro. Yeah, yeah. They said he can't technically though what? because he's not in college yet. What? So he can't technically be on the team. Oh, you talking about yeah? Now, I'm talking about people tanking to, to draft. Him oh no, nah, yeah, yeah. He bringing he bringing the number one pick back to America. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> just like, like you said, the last you know year or two or some years where it wasn't the clear cut. He's clear. He's already number one. Yeah, like, it is like go ahead and do a Ben Simmons. You can play half the year, nigga, and just we'll be, you, you're number one. Don't worry about it. The one interesting thing is you're going to Duke too, right? Yeah. yeah but the, what the interesting thing about that is fuck Duke. <laughs> interesting thing about that is Kerchevsky's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how is the Duke program going to be with that t- caliber of player? You know what I'm saying, and are they, are they still going to you know do what they do? And um, but another thing I wanted to say too was uh, that's what I said with the half a year. I think it might be half a year. Yeah, yeah. But another thing I was going to say too is um, um, there was there was trying to say uh, the other players that got invited to Team USA or whatever that when they was young and they were saying like Christian Leitner, but he had already graduated college. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, they, somebody else was yeah. already in college too. They, so. they, yeah, they be doing it. They some, from, from 
AD, every, AD was like player of the year or some yeah, shit. Yeah, like not yeah. every year like they do that, right, right. but they do sometimes take a, like you said. It's very rare, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And did it a couple, few, handful of times. Like you said, Christian Layton and fucking Anthony Davis is what can this, this come, come, come to mind. You know what I'm saying? Come to mind, yeah. This kid's 17. Anthony Davis was 19 when he was, you know what I mean? Right. Like I said, he's different. <laughs> he definitely, the truth, like you said, he definitely number one overall. You can punch it in whoever had number one overall pick next year. But you know who the real MVP is, though? Yeah. It's a dude on Twitter. It's a dude on Twitter posting the real videos of the of the uh, USA scrimmages. Mm-hmm. So they, because because they talking about Cooper Flag, and there's a lot of people like, oh no, I only seen him make five shots though. They all oh, this shit, they only seen him like. It's somebody on Twitter posting all the misses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that they ain't posting, you know, Team uh, USA. Yeah, 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 but it's yeah. somebody on Twitter that the first one I seen was like, this what they, uh, the, I think the caption was like, delete this, delete this. And it was a, 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 a clip of LeBron hitting like the top of the backboard from the, oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> from the elbow, though. Like, <laughs> you know, shit get ugly. You know, I ain't gonna crop the, 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 the shit that look nice, but that goddamn. 30 other shots that was trash or passes or whatever plays. Hell, yeah, they ain't showing that shit. No, no. That's why it's they, they shit for them not to show it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to the person that just brought me some weed. That's some <laughs> good weed. <laughs> I can tell. But, uh, yeah, man, that's the one thing you can't do on Team USA. <laughs> oh, no, you can't miss because everybody got to be on the even playing field. That's probably why some people don't even get invited. Because they be like, nah, y'all smoke. I can't even invite y'all. Y'all ain't going to pass the drug test. This is USA. This is... who? What, what league is it? Just, just, just bypass the marijuana. Oh, no. Nah, that's probably the, the okay. NBA. Okay. I know it was but this is just NBA. Olympic sport. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richardson. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> you talk about that shit. This was, this was a year ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, now it was... Shit. Four years ago. Four? God damn. Shakari? Yeah. That was four years ago? Remember, she couldn't go to the Olympics because of it. A word? God damn, time fly by. I think. I might be wrong. Maybe it was World I Championships or some facts, shit. Yeah. I don't know, but. Yeah, at least shit. Yeah, it probably was, was to like two years, though, because she definitely had the comeback story. And, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, coming back from all that shit mm-hmm. to make the Olympics. So probably. It probably was that. It probably was four years. God damn, time fly by. Time fly like a motherfucker. Like, and she is dominating, too. Nah, she's doing her thing. That's what I said. Shout out to her. That was, that was crazy. I thought Jalen Brown was on the damn team. Nah. And then not to get invited, like, that's crazy. Finals MVP and Easter Conference MVP. Like, probably trying to just round out the team. Like, oh, this guy played better on both sides. <laughs> Overall, better player. That's <laughs> fucked up. That's <laughs> fucked up, bro. That's <laughs> fucked up. Jalen Brown, I'm with you, bro. I'm with Word. You. We, got pro, we got a petition. Sign a petition. Right, right. I'm with you, bro. Like you said, he's the other the chip MVP and shit like that. Hey, you got to get, yeah, yeah. You supposed to be there. The, the other controversy they've been talking about is Joel Embiid. There's a few different controversies with Joel Embiid. Yeah, that that was that was that was kind of work. Out. Didn't he? Cause didn't he play for his damn team last time? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So then he just switched to America this time. Yeah. Well, you know what I, say? I remember. Uh, it was a few months back he announced it. Yeah. No, I remember he announced it. Cause his son. He okay. said his son was born in the USA, so he gonna right makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But as people were like. Nah, it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a 7-2 monster out there with everybody else. Right. <laughs> but the other the other controversy, though, with him was that the last time we seen him, it looked like half his body was shutting down. Right. <laughs> it's like, like literally. Like, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. having a stroke in mid-game and, right, right. and killing, though. <laughs> right. But like I said, with the Team Olympics, you know, you staggering the minutes. You know what I'm saying? It's named 15 minutes out there to dominate. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They, the the main attraction, the main star isn't the main star when it comes to the Olympics, man. The main star is Anthony Edwards. Nah, it's still going to be. Uh, from from Olympics past, it's always been KD to go out there and be the sniper. Nah, KD hurt though. You know what I'm saying? But they, no, nah, listen, there's always, you know, that one person that's going to, you know, step it up. So Anthony Edwards might be, you know, two. Or he might take that up. challenge. He yeah, might be that's good. what I'm saying, right? Because he's talking all the talk. But when you right. still got Curry out there, like I said, and KD been taking it. And even, you know, you go back, you know what I'm saying, 10 years, I mean, you know, like I said, Melo's coming off the bench, leading scorer. You know what I mean? So they know who to feed. You know what I'm saying? Who who, who, who to take lead. But, you know, they might, they might throw some crumbs at him, but like, listen, kid. This might be our last time. This, as far as this, you know, KD, Curry, LeBron, 
That group right there, them three, definitely. Mm-hmm. Probably nah, it last. is their last time. You know what I'm saying? Together, especially together. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Brian, yeah, definitely yeah. Brian, bro, go, Brian going before the next Olympics. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If, Brian, he, if he's still there by the next Olympics, that's like 24 years and 25 years he in the league. He could do it. He could do it. I know he could do it, but. It all depends on what he want to do. Yeah. And like, if he. Luck of the draw. Whatever. Nah, it ain't even luck of the draw. It's if he if he's gonna accept being a role player. Dang, a role player. He the coach. You know what I'm saying though? Like I'm, <laughs> he the coach. I'm talking about like he knows his body. Like he, I, I ain't the star. You know what I'm saying? Like I could be the third option. You know what I'm saying? If he could accept that, he could play as long as the fuck he want. Because there's so many niggas out here that still be getting checks. Yeah. I mean, y'all this bitch, you be like, damn, this nigga still playing? Checks. They getting fucking. Nah, the checks is different. That's just different. They handing over companies and shit. Yeah, talking about like you said, <laughs> you know what saying with the NBA, like you said. <laughs> just NBA talking about it, making all them players happy. Six they better day. get, they better, my, my bad, but they better get this gold fucking medal with all this money they got coming nah, in. Yeah, God yeah, damn. Yeah. Listen, all the talent on one team, and like you said, you got NBA now over there. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got worried about Giannis over here in Canada. Yeah, yeah they said at this point, it was a few th- people going around. They said at this point, it's like the only chance. Anybody else got a chance if if it, if is if the rest of the world come together as one team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would agree. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would but agree. as far as they the countries is you know separated, and you only get two the, players here and one especially player with here. all the dogs here. With all the dogs here, Cause last year was yeah. like with the qualifying, right? And that's when they lost and shit. Last, last year, year, last year was some bullshit. Yeah, I don't it was know. Like the it was like no, it was like FIBA or some shit. Yeah, like, whatever it was, but World Cup stuff. or some shit. I remember shit. it like, was around, you know. Yeah, and that, that's yeah, the that, fan that, fest that's why they were saying that's why they were saying Jalen Brown ain't make it. They was like last time you was on the team, we came in seventh. So. Oh, okay, <laughs> makes sense. I'm trying to tell you that shit. That should be politics for real. They be like, yo, you gonna fit the system? Yeah, like y'all yeah. embarrassed us last yeah, time y'all was yeah, out here. We got the big hitters now. Right. Yeah, I, exactly. You know we need right to come in. We need these seven <laughs> minutes. We need this shit to be hard. We need the best. We need the best. We'll, seven right. minutes. We don't need a nigga coming in here trying and to drop, three. trying to drop thirteen points in seven minutes. No, we need a nigga to come play some hard D pause, lock a nigga down, like you said, and might hit you with a three, and that's the stats. You know what I'm saying? Game stats. You know and mean? he ain't gonna say nothing. Nothing. Ain't gonna be hanging on. Oh pout. boy, lost a tooth. Ain't boy, gonna, ain't took gonna, a day, got it back. Right. So. He ain't gonna pout with nothing. Nope. He got he got too much bread not to be getting that whole shit fixed. I ain't even gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? No, for real. That's one thing about some bread. My shit getting fixed ASAP. Like, if I hit a check, next time you see me, nigga, my shit veneers veneer like a motherfucker. Yeah. My shit's gonna be pearly white like a motherfucker. You gonna get it for Columbia or you gonna I'm get not, it? I'm, I'm getting. I'm gonna make sure I'm doing my research. Though. You gonna pay that sixty bands? Well, that, if, hey, if I got it, yeah. that means I got it. I'm sixty pay, bands. Listen, I'm paying with. You go to Dominican it. Republic or like Columbia though, yeah, or nah, like Turkey. You gonna pay like six? Yeah, but I don't want to buy you nothing. That shit be breaking off. Yeah, I seen somebody. It's actually somebody from Rochester. Yeah. That he big on YouTube. Uh huh. And it happened to him on a YouTube short. He got like six million subscribers or something. Yeah. He, he do the sour candies and stuff. Okay. So he bit into one of the candies or something, and like the whole, it's like a, it was a plate, a white plate or something. If like it wasn't the whole veneer. Yeah. And it's just chipped off. Like his tooth was still there, but it was like a white cover on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah. Shit. Nah, out. the veneers is different. The veneers yeah. they shave your shit down to yeah. look like you got like little spikes on your gums, yeah. and then they they fill, fill it like, in, right? yeah they like screw it on there. Yeah, like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I need to aid it. Fuck yeah, <laughs> I don't that's see. Things. See, that's the thing. I might just get fuck around and get braces though, cause I I, th- I might get braces in general. Though, but because yeah. the veneers though, the thing with me is like I know a little bit about science, and I don't know if it's gonna like. Be of any significance for somebody to dig me up later and figure out who I was, but they need the teeth to figure out who you is. So if you got fake teeth, this is true. They ain't never gonna figure out who you is. This is true. <laughs> you gonna disappear. You can, yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, not asking. Yeah. That's that's where my mind be going. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I definitely like I said if I get that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, hit that mill, whatever. Will they get signed for a mill or something? That's one of the best things I get. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold it. Some new teeth. New, new new grill and shit like that. Other than you know, crib and shit like that. But so somebody should get a grill that looked like veneers. Some you motherfuckers probably do. <laughs> they probably do, right? Some motherfuckers <laughs> probably do. You don't even know. It's a regular grill, but the teeth is you know they got the they the, got the, the pearly white. The uh, 
what's it called? Um, enamel. Yeah, yeah. We got the enamel in, the, in between the gold. So yeah. it's all white, but the gold is shit. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. nah, it is a grill, right. but I got the pearlies in them. Right, right. Right. I see niggas did back in the day too. Niggas had the gold. Niggas shaved their teeth, like you said, with the shave, and they covered it with, the, they crowned it with the gold and shit like that. But yeah, like I said, talking about billies, man. Like I said, the NBA got seventy six billion for eleven years, man. Eleven years, seven seventy six. Start. This nigga said billion. This nigga said this is gonna be basketball every day. Yeah, uh, basketball televised. They said as soon as the NFL done, right? Every day, this period. I think I think I didn't see the time frame, but I'm pretty sure it was something about it's, like it's, the NFL. Yeah, yeah, it's staggered through the NFL. You know what I'm saying? NFL don't give a fuck, but you know, at least NBA be like, listen, you got that because we ain't about to compete with y'all niggas. But you know, with that, with that bread, you know, is money to, for more money for the players. Nah, definitely. But you know I, I, I read through that little thing, man. They talking about, they talking about mid. Mid twenty thirties, they gonna be making a hundred a year. So about twenty thirty five? Yeah, yeah. Twenty thirty five, they gonna make a hundred million a year. They yeah. said Luca next contract, Luca and SGA next contract, they might get eighty a year. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, that's that's in, that's in about four. I can believe Luca, but like, I mean, I guess I respect nah. SGA game, but I don't think but SGA about to get fucking. But you gotta think billion, though, like you said, million. you gotta think. Hardenstein from the next <clears> guy like twenty nine million a year. He probably gonna be the, 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 That's, the yeah. fifth, sixth best player on OKC. Yeah, they said you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the, the yeah. average, the average player is over ten million. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So imagine in twenty thirty five, the average player is probably gonna be twenty. Like the bench player. Twenty thirty five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, twenty thirty five, you're probably gonna be twenty million. You know what I'm saying? So that shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's they they getting up there to them soccer contracts. Yeah, they getting there. Them baseball contracts and shit. But they passing the baseball nah, contracts. They, they, they pass it because the baseball be so fucking long. Yeah, let's spread out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you, you got five hundred million, but you still getting yeah, twenty million. Yeah. Exactly. You ain't ten years and yeah. shit. I'm getting that shit in four. Yeah. Cause like it's like PG shit. PG is like two fifteen and for four years. Yeah, no, Jason You know what I'm saying? Jason got the biggest contract. He got the biggest contracts to date ever. So you know it's gonna start and be like the NFL. The next, next man up. If you hit all the accolades, first team, the stand third, you're gonna get that bread. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Keep in the Olympics, man. RIP Kobe, man. Kobe was 31 and 0 in the Olympics, man. That's fire. Cause he brought the attitude. That's he was part of the redeem team and all that. Everything. So so okay. Was he available to be on the team that lost before that? He probably was. And he ain't go or something, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so, why yeah. motherfuckers came. Cause I'm going to say, because he's 31 nigga, and know that mean, yeah, he's yeah, not coming back. Because that year, niggas was just was like, nah, I'm good. I ain't going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas turned it down. You know? And, and that's then what he lost of, to Puerto Rico, That's right? what a lot of people do. That was yeah. 04. Whatever that was. Because yeah, that's, that's the last time Puerto Rico was in the Olympics. They just made it this year, too. Shout out to Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Puerto Rico. Yeah, because that's when LeBron and Melo, them niggas, was like fucking first, second year and shit. In the league and shit. And like you said, they had. You talking about Derek White? They had Derek White Nick ass niggas over there starting though. You know what I'm saying? So I saw them niggas lost over there. Yeah, whatever. Dean King, Dean King, Tang King, Vince Carter, and motherfucking KG, Kobe. Kobe K- came in there with the attitude. And Kobe remember? and all them niggas they said, "Fuck that." And Brian. I think we got the years wrong with this, but yeah, now nah, we got this something wrong. Yeah, nah. <laughs> it's something like that. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, we we wrong because then that shit came in. It was KG, KG was there, but like said LeBron. Because because Kobe was kind of the old head. Nah, Kobe was the old yeah. head. Yeah, them teams, yeah. <laughs> Kobe was the oldest thing. When I'm talking about it was beforehand, I was Vince Carter. Vince yeah. Carter dumped over nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. KG my, and on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's still one of my best moments in Olympics history, right there. And also, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, LeBron missed six shots, man. Talking about missed shots, man. He passed Kobe from <laughs> missed shots. Today you know they played today, right? Yeah, they played the night and shit like that against Canada. That's the that's the team that um that they, that some people were saying might give the USA a chance, but they just fucking lost. They're not big enough, pause. They're not like us, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They're not like I us. I could see that. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of people call SGA. Small. They not like they, us. Yeah, who they got? Van Fleet. Yeah, they not like <laughs> us. <laughs> nah, man, Canadian nigga. He might have played for Toronto. <laughs> now they got uh, it's, like you said, Shy. They got Andrew uh, Wiggins over there. Um, Wiggins. 
Oh they yeah. Got, uh, Wiggins not in the best headspace. Peace to him though. Yeah, they got uh talking about the relationship. Yeah, what's the nigga uh from Denver? Murray. Yeah, Murray, he a guard. Uh Dylan Brooks, nigga a guard. Like they got they guard heavy. Yeah. When it comes to them big men with Embiid and you know what I mean, like you said. That's why the Jerry saw, White ain't make sense though to me. You saw the picture and shit with fucking also, K, KD was like the same height as A D and all them niggas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that, that, I'm see, Come on, bro. we right here because that's exactly why I was looking. I was like, yo, KD tall as a motherfucker, yo, and Embiid is really that tall, right? <laughs> like KD taller than AD, exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's that's, the, that's the, when you make a player in 2K, that's the type of player you want to make. I was six looking 10, at the shoulders, the nigga 6'10, and you know what I'm saying, he can move and shoot and dribble, all that shit. That's KD, man. But he's seven foot, right? Because he's taller than AD. Imagine, listen, if K, if, if KD, <laughs> let's say, never switched teams, never got hurt, man, he would be considered one of the greatest players of all time. Yeah, and he is. I, I, I just still, put him in the top five. You yeah, know what I'm saying? he still, he but still, I didn't, but he's still a top fifteen player in my eyes. Oh, yeah, of pure all time. raw yeah, talent, so skill wise, stuff just like, like that. you know, bucket. Yeah, he getting, he getting it. Look at his IG names. Right, easy he money. It. He sure. getting it. And he you knows that Melo one of my favorite players ever, but I'll put him in front of Melo without question. Overall game and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You couldn't shoot and scoring. And make it look they, smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they close, but yeah, KD is that nigga. But yeah, he definitely tall. Like I said, they don't got the hype to mess with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They got the guards, you know what I mean? But as far as height wise, you know, Dylan Brooks be pushing somebody. You, you'll see you'll see a clip of some Dylan Brooks getting, getting feisty with somebody and they laughing at this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's the Olympics. It's different. Nah, they ain't gonna let me. Dylan Brooks don't give a fuck. Dylan Brooks is embracing this maybe, villain role. Maybe. He's one of the niggas that, like we were saying, you gotta make your mind out what you wanna do. This nigga probably the nicest cat off the court. But on the court, you gotta be that dickhead. Nah, that's I get he, it. I get it, but the Olympics is such a different atmosphere, though. It's like. I guarantee you, you see, he's gonna do scuff up. Or what, what I'm saying is, Canada, the country, is gonna be like, motherfucker, what are you doing? <laughs> That's why he on the team. You gotta represent us right. You That's can't. why he on the team, bro. That. No, they on, he on the team because he in the NBA and Canada nah, need a team. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah he earned the right. Like I say, five when you like say, think about Canadian. Ain't no probably, fighting the Olympics. Probably man. a top ten Canadian player. You know what I'm saying? For ain't sure. Ain't no fighting the Olympics. Nah, I ain't saying fight. He gonna trust me. <coughs> you gonna see a highlight tonight? They ain't LeBron face or something. It ain't gonna be crazy, but. He, he, you know, nah, I think that's on one the, nigga I, that made a check. Honestly, I think on the stars. The honestly, I feel like on a, on that star studded court, this is the Olympics. This is every best player on every NBA team on yeah. the same. He's gonna get lost in the sauce. They ain't nobody gonna talk about Dylan Brooks. No, I'm not saying they're gonna talk about the nigga, but you will see some bullshit highlight with him. You know, he's he gonna, gonna be Dylan, in the background looking mad. But there ain't gonna be a camera on him. He go, he go, Dylan Brooks on his bullshit. Nah. It's going to be something, man. Trust me. I'm, trust me. Watch. I'm going to post that shit on fan, fan podcast. Fan you know, podcast. IG and Twitter, man. It's all, holler at me, though, for sure. But you know what I'm saying? You know who been, you know, we led the show a few times. You know what I'm saying? With with this sport. It's big. It's going, doing anything. You know what I mean? Definitely shout out to the WNBA. Definitely shout out to the two rookies doing their goddamn thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Number one overall pick, Clayton Cart, doing her fucking thing. You know what I mean, first Ricky get that triple double. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you got the dog, the dog, literally. You know what I mean? She she played for Chicago Sky, but you know what I mean? Angel Reese, man. She said, "What you mean, Ricky record for double doubles, nigga? I want the WNBA record. You feel me? You know what I mean? Yeah. She passed Kansas Park, and today she went 14. So she got 14 of them boys in a row. You know what I'm double doubles. You know what I mean? And not I mean, only that, rebounds. she she is also the first rookie to win NBA Player of the Month. She averaged sixteen and fourteen for the month. Yeah, now she was getting busy, she and she was balling out. I, I know Aja Wilson, you know, turned up on her a little bit, but she showed out still. Yeah, yeah, nah, Aja Wilson had a t- twenty and twenty the game today. Twenty so and twenty. She definitely doing her thing. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, now she getting busy, man. She she <laughs> she like shit. I'm the eldest takes when we talk about. What? I've been in this bitch for five years. I'm defending the champ. I hear y'all. I see y'all young dog. Two times. I respect. Two times. God damn it. MVP or that. All that good shit. She like shit. I ain't even hit my peak yet. God damn it. Y'all y'all young chicks doing y'all thing, but I'm out here, man. Nah, she was legit. Game. I remember earlier in the season, like 
she was like kind of like I don't know if she was crying or like almost crying or something because she had to she she was explaining like yo I got to hold myself back for my team to get their rhythm. So it's like it's I could go out there and get 40 or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I got to get but I need my team to play good. Yeah. And she was like like frustrated cuz she could, not you know, cuz it's patience whatever. But 20 and 20 is crazy. She got that. All right, she got that. Shout out to And her. I know she got some blocks with that. Shout out to her, like said, so her and Tatum was on that. The cover, the NBA cover, 2K, yeah. NBA 2K, you know 2K 25, there's a lot of people that don't like the Tatum cover either. <laughs> hey, man, Tatum ain't. Because like they like, yo, like Jalen Brown over here. They <laughs> <laughs> still on the brown shit. Nah, you gotta give him his credit. You give him his just dude, man. Nah, he, it's because he light skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nah, what but it like is. I said, in, 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 in my eyes, he earned that respect now. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Respect to everybody. Respect that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not being colorist. I'm telling you what it is. He light skin. That's why, that's why they don't like Drake like that? No, yeah. that's why Drake is viewed as a bigger artist than Kendrick. Even though, like, the numbers on certain shit might be similar. Not yeah. every, Obviously, not everything. But the Light skin didn't benefit. So, I, I had Balanced Perspective one time. I was recording Balanced Perspective. They had uh, the episode with shit. D-Will. And, um, <clears throat> some Rochester artists. Lil mm-hmm. West and Lil Perko. Mm-hmm. Lil Perko, dark skin. Lil West, light skin. D. Will, the artist I'm talking about who been in Sony Records and all that, and he was like, he said he thought Lil West was going to blow because Lil West is light skin. Yeah. And like, that's what I'm basing it off of. I'm not being racist. <laughs> but, you no, know, most of the time, like, look at even like, nowadays, conspiracies of Beyonce getting lighter. Yeah. You know, trying to be like a white woman. Uh, Michael Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Like, Turn into white. I mean, obviously he could. He couldn't control that. But it's like Tammy Sosa. You know what I'm saying? Like Tammy Sosa. <laughs> worse. That nigga is the he worse than Michael Jackson. He got Michael Jackson beat by a thousand. That motherfucker. <laughs> thousand. <laughs> Fuck is Tammy Sosa? That nigga went pink, nigga. <laughs> that nigga didn't go lighter. That nigga went pink. That shit was crazy. He went albino on him. <laughs> for real. He went God, white skin. Damn. He went white skin, exactly. not light skin. He ain't going light skin. Right? White exactly. Skin. <laughs> he nigga went white skin. God bless him. I hope he all right. No, he threw it up. But, but that's, it's, it's a sad reality. You know what I'm saying? Like, like no, this perception true. of shit. Like, it's going to sell more. Yeah, but I don't think just, they, I don't think they, they just hating on Tatum. They like, nigga, they just find something more for you. They hate on Cause more controversy. Yeah, that's it. That's but it. I added the woman on there. I thought that was fucking dope. Yeah, that's fine. She deserved that goddamn shit. Hell too. yeah. She, what? So twenty so, so, twenty twenty. Yeah, she dropped that. Yeah, right. I'm on the cover. I'm on the cover. That's a fact. <laughs> twenty twenty. Motivation. You know how that shit go for that shit. Anytime something happens, that, that person have a big game in any sport. Word. You know what I'm saying? So definitely shout out to that. Is it? Is, is it? Is it a um? The 2K, do they got WNBA in, in the 2K? I'm guessing it is now. It should, right? That'd be, that's fire. I'm guessing I'm it is. It might have been the last couple years, but. I were? Uh, like I said, I I, I'm played. not sure about a couple, maybe last year. I haven't um, played a video game, so I wouldn't know shit. But if she on the cover, I'm guessing they're in there. That's fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put them against some men and shit just to. Like in the, in the game, I'm saying. Yeah, like, I'm, you know I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to think if, that, if, ma- if they even made that possible. Probably is. Like I said, I ain't tapped in any game a long time. I used to be Sega Genesis Nintendo, nigga. <laughs> Big Small talking about, nigga. That was me, nigga. What? Right. I remember Sega out. Genesis. Sega. Sega. Except first it was Nintendo. Like I said, blowing on the cartridges. Yeah. I remember the, the 64. Then Sega. Got the Sega for Christmas. Boom. And then that was kind of almost like on one of my last joints. I got a weave. That was years ago, but when I'm talking about in. A wee from the second Genesis. Nah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I said. That's what I said. I skipped years. I skipped. I, I skipped twenty years. Yeah. Sega. God damn. Sega, like Sega was my really like my last. You never had no PlayStation. None no, that? I had a PlayStation. Like, okay. I got it like from somebody like you know shit. You know, shout out to pops. What? So you rise from like? Nah. I heard the pops, but you know, our house. You know, what I'm saying was always the house to. Uh, 
uh, of shelter for any family members that come out of town, or whoever, whatever. We always had a room for everybody. We ain't turn nobody down. Mm. And um, you know, that's when Gandhi and, and Jackie and shit came down, and you know, what I'm saying they was dealing. With shit. I think Jackie was that Jackie. I think Jackie was dealing with some you know, dude or whatever, and they came. He had a PlayStation. So then, you know, I was playing that shit. They, they kind of left or whatever, and I got left with the PlayStation. So I was end up my PlayStation. That's hey. how I got a PlayStation. And then after that, I ain't had no places and like said to the Wii. I, shit, I, I found I found a Game Boy in the rental, and that shit had the right. That was fire. That right? shit had the Pokemon game in right? it with all the high level Pokemon. I found that shit. <laughs> that shit. I found that motherfucker in the rental car. I had all that shit. I said that shit was fire. I was so old boy. That shit. That shit. He said it was like, and off to another. I should have dope the whole play, the whole motherfucking Game Boy, and then full of everything. All the Pokemon was like level 100. I'm like, shit, yeah, this is easy. I remember this that shit. Easy. I found that shit. I need to buy a fucking uh, a, tw- a Switch or whatever. Like, Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch, fire. I you find one. Let me get you. It's fire. My son, he, 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 he about almost in that age. I'm going to play some games and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, shit. Sure. Young King out in shit. Uh, yeah. Doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so. All right. Yo, King Mad proper. He was like, uh, for the other day, that yeah. tastes bad. I don't want it. I was like, yo, he know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> yeah, hey, nah, nah, nah. He, he, he probably would uh, he, That nigga, he got his mind right, man. Word. He got his mind. He's still a kid, but he definitely, nah, definitely. Got, he definitely got his mind right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I love about my kid. Definitely got that. And I'm not saying, I'm just saying, like you said, you saying it, you just, you going to be around like that. Just to hear him, like, say, like, nah, I'm good. Like, I don't want this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just, just on that aspect. But, but he didn't say nah, I'm good. He said, nah, this tastes bad. <laughs> like he told you right, why it ain't good. Like right. he, yeah, he said, it he wasn't was, just like no, uh, nah. Right. He <laughs> said it properly. Like nah, I'll, I'll pass. You know, I'm so okay. It doesn't taste that good. That I don't like the taste. That I don't like the texture. <laughs> he be saying mash. Say he's smart. But you know what I'm saying. Like talk, talk about youngsters and stuff like that. You know what I mean. I don't know if you tapped in with Shakur Stevenson last fight, man. I don't know if you. <laughs> I ain't tapped into it. I definitely heard about it. <laughs> you heard about it, right? I, that's 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 the crazy part. More people, more people are heard about after the fact than really knowing of the fight. You know what I'm saying? Nah, definitely. Saying. I heard it from Kevin Mace. That's what I'm saying. Right, right. A lot of people do it, like you said. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, you know, I follow my. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan from I'm from, from, from afar. But I, I might have seen it on Twitter the night before, like the video of the fans walking out. Yeah. Cause Twitter would be having everything right then and there, and the video just started playing. You ain't got to click on it. Right. <laughs> like, everything. I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, everything. Every fucking thing. Everything. 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 <laughs> everything. I'd be like, okay. You All like right. you like a booty picture? Oh, they sending porn your way. <laughs> everything, everything. When I say everything, and the porn like, is, is accepted now, t- okay. officially, okay. according yeah, yeah. to Elon said, Musk. He said porn, motherfucking <laughs> fights and shit, brutal fights. You like, oh shit, you should get everything. But I might, I might have seen people walking. It says something about people. Uh, Shakur Stevenson at home, people leaving before the fight. Nah. I was like, damn. And then <laughs> Kevin Mason was talking about it. I, I wasn't expecting old boy to tweet crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He went, he went, he went crazy on I mean. it. But, you know, that's, that's one thing, he, you know what I mean? He, he does is talk and shit. But, you know what I mean? I saw him more or less, like, second. I follow him a little bit and shit like that. So I saw it like a week or two. And niggas was already on him. They like, how the fuck did you have a promo picture and your opponent got a suit on? Like, his opponent literally had, you know how you got to do the face mm-hmm. off? Like, he had a suit on. Not, this was a Photoshop, though, shit. Not no, you know what I mean? They they did the little press conference. Like, this was a photo. And, they go, and he even made jokes. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm fighting my lawyer. Like, he was even making jokes prior to the fight because niggas was already on. Like, who the fuck is you fighting, bro? Like, this nigga. So, he already had that. And then to go in there and not dominate and... You know what I mean? It well and dominating people's eyes, fashions to last a damn the whole fight. Like you supposed to knock, you supposed to knock him out. Like you, well, I heard he said he, he said he was going to knock him out. Like I said, you supposed you supposed to knock him out. He like, and then one of his responses was like, "Oh, they got you know, I got to fight a I got to fight a wealthy opponent to me to be not running." Like what you mean, like nigga? What you got in front of you, nigga? Run over that motherfucker like UFC motherfuckers do. They don't go fuck who the fuck in front. Roll over that motherfucker. Let me get the next motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Not 
you know, go the distance with motherfuckers. Now, that's what I didn't like personally, like I said. I heard a clip of, was it, I don't know if it was Timothy Bradley. It might have been Timothy Bradley. Mm. Or Andre Andre Berto, maybe? I don't know. But somebody, I guess, I heard a clip and it was like, when, when the fight started, they was like, okay, I got my coffee ready. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, like, like it's going to be a long, long night. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be long. <laughs> and then, That's crazy. That's like, true. people knew like that people the shit went, right. went the distance. Like, oh, they heard Shakur Steve say, oh, 12 rounds. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> like, but that's what it means. Like, you ain't ready for nobody. I, I ain't going to hold you. No. He can talk all he want to talk. And shit Kenny like Bradley that. did come out and say he still will take Shakur over Tank. Tank knocked that nigga out. Yeah. I ain't going to hold you. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I'm a mm-hmm. fan. I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. But Tank ain't no, you ain't about to run around and sh- sh- showcase. What? I'm coming at your ass then. Okay. We can, we can play this game for six rounds. And after that, I'm going to knock your ass the fuck out. Yeah, I'm going to say, because like, what, what, what people would say is that that's Shakur's Strength though, yeah, chase me, cause right. yeah, that's what he said. Counter, but it's like not nah, like it's a different kind of chase. That's what I'm saying. Bro. That's that, yeah. That's a different. I've seen Tank get hit, get mad, like look at himself in a, an imaginary mirror, and then go whoop some ass. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Or I, I, I seen up, I seen his corner tell him, yo. You losing this motherfucker, and he go out and finish that bitch. Tank can knock that nigga out, man. <laughs> Tank can knock that nigga out, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Like you said, secure a good boxer, but he got a fire sheet. The level of competition, bro, you gotta step that up. Mm-hmm. Especially from this last one, like I said. And then now people clowning you and shit like that. People gonna look for that next fight, for real, for me now. Like, who you fighting? Now you gotta, now? yeah, now like, you, you gotta fight somebody. Yeah, yeah, ain't no more beating around the bush and. Oh, I fight who, or, pull, or who they put in front of me. No. Or, or, or matter of fact, I, I respect that. But even if they put a Joe Smo in front of you, you gotta, you gotta fight. You gotta dominate. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to fight. You gotta run over niggas, man. You gotta put your maybe a mark on that. But they be like, damn, yeah, I got my ass whipped. Nah, I could have fought a little better fight. I might could have had him. No, you don't want to give nobody no. Listen, shoulda, coulda, woulda, gotta get out of your motherfucking yeah, exactly. It's it's that vocabulary. I got my ass whooped. When you fight me, I'm trying to run your ass over. So at this point, right in boxing, okay, question. At this point in boxing, who, who 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 you think a little more corny, Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson? Well, Haney, Haney right now still got the corn. His name corn chips for real. <laughs> Cause it's like he right? named corn chips you, for real. How you celebrating? Like if we ain't see you get your ass. Whooped. You got your ass. I don't give a fuck what you are, motherfucker. That's like. <laughs> That's like you. That's like you fighting nigga on the street. Like that nigga had a red bull before the nigga fought. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? That nigga had a red bull, man. That's why that nigga beat my ass, man. That nigga had more energy than me, man. That nigga, had, fuck out of here, bro. You got your ass whooped. Simple as that. You ain't see that punch hit you, right? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. You got your ass whooped. Why right, this nigga? This nigga calling nigga nigga. Now he's suspended for the whole year. That nigga need some help. <laughs> yeah. That nigga needs some help, man. What I've been said, saying it for a while. That yeah, nigga needs some help, bro. What, what Tank said about uh, Haney, though. He had your booty in the air, though. <laughs> Damn. Pause. Pause. But, no diddy, man. But he was like, yo, how you gonna, how you gonna talk crazy? Yeah. Like, your bo- booty wasn't in the air. Right. That's the, di- that's the difference, bro. Pause again. Pause, yeah. That's the difference, though. Like, if you didn't want the distance, it'll be like, a majority of the decision or the split decision he won, nigga knocked your ass out. Like that's a different that's a whole different ball game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or if you didn't get up, if you got up and you still lost it three that's times. Different. Yeah. You got your ass whooped, bro. Like I said. Three times hit the canvas. You simply just saying, like I said, nigga drank a red bull. That's all that's that's why I accumulate that shit too, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know he, he, yeah, he, he corn, right? It's iffy. It's not cement in no gloves. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> That's what I say. It's like a red bull. What the fuck? <laughs> Help the nigga uh, train harder? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, just train. You train motherfucking hard, too. You just caught that shit. He was beating your ass and sparring beforehand. Same as Tank Tank. You know what I mean? Whatever. He knew you. <laughs> That's y'all, the y'all, y'all fought before. That's Mad time. 
That's, that's what I'm saying. He knew you. He knew <laughs> That's what it was. He knew you. So he, he probably did a bump of coke or something beforehand, too. You know what I'm saying? All three. Like, that motherfucker. <laughs> like I said, he had his red bull. That's all he had. He had his red bull, man. Shout out to John Jones. John Jones did that against Cormier. Oh, he told him. He was like, motherfucker, I came off a weak bender and whooped your ass. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> whoop a lot of these niggas' ass. What? Dana White said he did. Ellis fighter ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dana White give him, that's one thing, man. Dana White give him his props, man. And shout out to the UFC. And they be having beef and shit, too, but he be like, nah, I, that motherfucker whoop anybody at. Yeah, and beef, that motherfucker come when he want to fuck. That's that fight. Rochester energy. You know what I'm saying? He come when he want to come, when he fight when he want to fight. And nah. Shit, Dana like, nigga, I don't need you every week, nigga. <laughs> I need you once a month, man. They get these ratings more up. You know what I'm saying? Word. They definitely getting them, them bags up, don't you, UFC? Dana said, yo, you put anybody in the elevator with John Jones, John Jones walk out that motherfucker. Hell yeah. Motherfucker anybody. Motherfucker animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Ar- why they were talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, Arby Kirk, you know, beat Shannon, motherfuckers up. Shannon, yeah. Shannon asked them about Nganu. Mm-hmm. He was like, man, John Jones whoops Nganu's ass. <laughs> Easy walks through him because he was like, and Ganu, like, I think either lost or barely won against this dude named Cyril Gan. Mm-hmm. Heavyweight shit. And so, John Jones' first fight at heavyweight is against Cyril Gan. And he's like, first round submission, get out of here. That's what I'm talking like, about. Yeah, you take, take like, care of right? like, Take care of niggas. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Ain't no, damn, I almost had him. No, I'm taking care of your ass, <laughs> nigga. It's over. I knocked you the fuck out. I submit, whatever. Yo, John Jones like literally broke his elbow a few times from not tapping, like the little arm bar yeah, shit. Yeah. He had to didn't tap until the end of the round. They came and whooped do ass like had to. He left the fight in the stretcher and he won the fight. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's Break. a different fucking breed. Breaking toes and shit. You nigga breaking toes. That's and shit. the oh. Uh, that's the most like I hate that video. <laughs> that was some nasty shit I ever seen, yo. The toe just flipped on his ass. Like, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> and he just like, oh shit. <laughs> like I, I when I broke my leg, mm-hmm. I seen the lump in the sock from the inside. Yeah, yeah. Cause it was dislocated from on the inside. So when I seen the lump, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? And I just went into shock. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I ain't going to look at it again. I did peek at it a couple of times. My shit was yeah. fucked, but I ain't yeah. know how. Yeah, your body went into shock. Hell yeah. They was like, yeah, you, I don't know how you so calm right now. I'm like, mm. My shit hurt, though. Like, this shit, you just in shock. You yeah, just was so shit. much of a shock that you just. And then, like you said, once they did this and that, now you felt all that shit. Like that shit hurt like a mother. Oh nah, that that's that's why I would like take your medicine an hour early. That's what I'm saying. No, that's yeah. what I mean. When yeah, you, I got pain when, yeah. That's, that's the worst I mean pain I ever felt in my life. That was, the that pain was worse than it happening. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because it's it's, it's that's a bang, that, bang that's play. a bone. But I'm saying that's a bone breaking. Yeah. But the surgery. They cutting your skin open. They, they getting in there. They screwing everything. shit they together. They, that's they, what I'm saying. They you know, that ain't normal. Supposed to be in your body. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's the pain. That's, that's the, the pain. worst part. That's the pain. Cause when that shit happens, mm-hmm. you like you feel it obviously, but you ain't feeling like you said when it's that recovery. I was walking. Around. I can't believe I was walking. Oh, well, I wasn't walking, but I had a fucking. I went to RGH when it happened, and they was like, it might not be broken. <laughs> and then when I went to the specialist, they was like, motherfucker, this, this shit is shattered. This was like a week later. <laughs> like, this shit is in pieces, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I had to get like immediate surgery, like the next morning. <laughs> I had put fucking bone fragments just moving around in my foot for a week. I'm glad my shit good still. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. Yeah, <laughs> fragments make, make the stallion, you know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, nah, that's bullet fragments. <laughs> You seen this Family Feud joint? Yeah. That's wild, yo. Steve Harvey, wild, son. And, okay. and the other one was like, what's curvy? <laughs> he was like, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> nah, that's wild. That's definitely a setup. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's, 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 some, that's some 
low key like embarrassing too, like for the for the brand of Family Feud or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like that's fucked up. Yeah, that part. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just think about it that way. Like you gotta think about like it probably went over over her head at the moment. So nah, afterwards, I don't know. You gotta you know nah, that shit went over her head, man. It did. Yeah, that shit went over. Her head. <laughs> at the moment, it went over her head. And then she probably thought like when she went back, the motherfucking. Yo, behind send the that desk. clip to Shay yeah. Room. I'm saying when she went behind that desk, she probably thought about it. Like, this motherfucker just asked me my mouth like, Really? Like, all right, let me play me. <laughs> let me <laughs> continue to play You know what I mean? Play it all for the show. That's her brand right there right now. She, she listen. Independent. To do her thing, like, she out there. Mm-hmm. I don't even need hearing really no new music or just out there, but her face is out there. Yeah, she a bad woman too. Like she, her face, she hides me. But her face she is out fine. there, like nigga, Planet Fitness and all that. She doing, she she doing her thing in that aspect. Now I'll just see if she keep it up with, you know, add that with the music and stuff like that. I seen the Cuzos at Planet Fitness. Yeah, 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 they got in there. Ralph J, Joe Marv, Tom Capone's in there. Yeah, yeah, they was in there. Shout out to yeah. all of them, you know what I'm saying? You know? Definitely shout out to them. Yeah, they can't. Uh, Ralph J. I talked to Ralph J today. Yeah, man, nigga, like you said, going back to the fitness, man, we be trying. We be trying, shout out to Robert J be good on that meal prepping and Robert J good on that, you know what I mean? Mind right getting back, so he getting, getting healthier. Shout out to Joe Mar, he like probably like two years. Uh, I don't wanna, you know, low ball probably about two years pause, you know, being sober. And that motherfucker always was an animal when it comes to anything, you know, weightlifting or like you said, with the with the using when you when this is clear, you can do a lot of shit. And I told him that when he, you know, was going through his issues. I was like, nigga, you only using this amount of your brain. So imagine if you, you know what I mean? So now he using that, I'm gonna fuck it. He do a strictly just meat diet. Mm-hmm. Just eat meat, you know what I'm saying? Like he know all this shit and you look at, and that shit be on the motherfucking Instagram. You be like, oh, this nigga just talking about this shit, just eating meat and then what it does to your body. All this shit, you know what I'm saying? So he doing this thing, lost probably like, 60 pounds doing this thing, I'm saying, straight narrow. I mean, like I said, you know, like I said, tone was there, tone like shit. I want to get back into it too. Sometimes you just be motivation, you need a little motivation, man. You know what I'm saying? You need that, be a light in people's darkness, right? You need that, definitely need that, and especially in these times in general where, like I said, everything's in your face, you know what I mean, and everything ain't uh glamour and shit like that. It might be for the for the for the for the phone for you to look at, but once that shit turn off for their asses, they ain't their own shit too. You know what I'm saying? So, Murder. yeah, yeah, but not health is wealth though, man. Like I said, definitely get that, get that body right, man. You definitely feel a lot better. And y'all be around here, man, for a long, long period of time. Even man. just looking in the mirror, you were like, damn, I did that. That's the key, man. The key is you just look yourself in the mirror. <laughs> like certain certain people just been a certain way for their whole life, so yeah. it's like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like not cool, but. It ain't never was. I had a damn. I was in good shape at one point in time. Now, you know what I mean? I want to get back to where I was. People always just been a certain, you know what I mean? Had a body frame, and that's what they stuck at. Mm-hmm. You know remember, <clears throat> remember how I said, you know, if you can see it, it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's going to happen. I've been visualizing the six pack since I was like 18. Mm-hmm. Like, I always had you a couple. Had, you had a six pack? I had a slight one for a minute. It was like mm-hmm. after a gym session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I took the picture and I was like, oh, my shit look right, <laughs> son. But then I ain't never had it since. I always had like two. Yeah, or yeah. if I tighten my stomach, you kind of see it there. Right, but right, it right. I still got a fat. I got the fat over yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you sure. know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I feel like with, with where I'm going and all that and what I'm doing, I feel like I'm going to get it. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to get it. Listen, you're doing everything in, in the properly to, to, to get it. So imagine if, you know, you add that little routine to your shit. Be straight. Do that shit, nigga. Do that hundred push ups, nigga. Motherfucker. You know who? Sit-ups, who nigga. else? Um, think the Mighty and them been better with their health too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they got their business going. And you know, Ray. She said Ray was on the watermelon diet. Yeah, watermelon said good. Yeah. Listen, I, I'm fresh watermelon. Yeah, yeah. But I'm one of the people, man. Like I said, I, I, I can't be like, oh, I want a watermelon. Like if it's there. Like, you gonna, I'm fucking it up But that's the saying? discipline yeah, That's the discipline like of, I gotta go buy This big ass watermelon yeah, like Cause that's what I'm eating yeah. You know what I'm saying Like I said I'm gonna challenge myself One day man Just to uh, Do your research this. On which one's supposed To taste good I think it's the darker green With the brown spot I think <laughs> Oh no I just had one On Sunday We had We, we bought one I just wanna fuck with Delicious 
All right. But I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do one day just straight. I'm going to go to the store and just buy it. And just fruits fruit. and veggies. No, just, in the, just that one day. Mm-hmm. Just buy all different fruits that I like, obviously. And veggies. Yeah, yeah. You can't, be, I'm, I know, but you got to be like some carrots or some celery or something. Or something you know, like, mm-hmm. It got to, you got to throw it in there so you can mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm going I'm to shit anyway. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might have to do that with a smoothie or something, but. But for sure, nah, you gotta I'm eat it. I want to do it with the juice. Forget the nutrients. You gotta eat it. I was telling the body that. I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the, because the body wants something to do, yeah. and when you blend everything, it takes away a bodily function, and you losing the nutrients you get when you chew the fruit. Yeah, that's it, man. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. But I definitely want to do. Like I said, challenge myself to just. To, just, just straight. Fruits. That's my go-to right now. Carrots and celery. That's all I know. I like. See, you like it though. But like, I could deal I'm, with that. I'm just saying, you, you like don't it. fuck with celery at all. Nah, I never yeah. liked the celery, man. I tried it one time. Only with the chicken wings and shit. I you tried it care? one time with the chicken wings. Like, try that. Just, it's just a distinct taste, like. Cause you eating the chicken wings. That's why. <laughs> Probably though, right? You gonna put the chicken wings, motherfucker. Put some peanut butter on that celery. Yeah, yeah. You can try to kill me now. Oh y'all. You need to. This thing's trying to kill me now. Yeah, yeah, what? He lose weight. Yeah, I lose weight. Yeah, I, I lose the weight. I be in the motherfucking hospital. Right, can't eat shit. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, like I said, that carrots ain't too bad. Like I said, I eat my steamed veggies and shit like that. You know what I mean? But it'd be hard. I had to get some carrot juice. That's one. I would have to drink my veggies. I could eat my fruit. I had to drink my veggies. Uh, like a carrot juice, like a small carrot juice from Wegmans, where they do it pressed or whatever. Yeah, Gotta get it from Wegmans yeah. and shit. Or go I to one that. Them, I go, that. Or go to one of them smoothie. You know, they got smooth. They got a what? They got a shake, a Shake Shack now. Open up somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be the same, but I'm just saying. Fire. Like I said, one day I'm gonna wake up. You gotta go to uh, go like be that. healthy. Yeah, nah, you gotta go like you gotta go. Oh, do we? It's right on the street from right. you. They got a what you call it too? I went to. Uh, I forgot what the fuck they had, but they ain't South Clinton though. They got all that shit. And I had a I had a shake and shit. It was a fruity pebble. Obviously, I had to still look what the fuck in it because a lot of shit had peanut butter, a lot of shit had everything. I'm about to say, as soon as you said fruity pebble, you went wrong, huh? Nah, nah, nah. It, it was what it was in there. It was like orange. It was like just just the stuff that was in there. Oh, well, that's why they called the it. The colors of the fruity pebble. Yeah, okay. it wasn't no I'm about to say, yeah, no fruity nah. pebble smoothie, huh? Nah, nah, nah. I'll be, having to get, I'll be getting the fruity pebble. Uh, 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 protein shakes though That shit be good <laughs> Ice soap with fruity pebbles I'm telling you Get in your shake shit too Every once in a while Like that shit Alright right, right. The ice soap Fruity pebbles ones That's the best one Fruity pebbles <laughs> I'm trying to tell you Alright Yeah Ramon J put me on That's why I fuck with that ice soap one I got vanilla right now But yeah I had the, I had the uh, chocolate chip Last one All right, Straight vanilla Now some of that shit be hard to like Shake up and shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be having all the other shit. Obviously, it's like 10 more calories because you're adding the, the, all the flavors. Sugars, yeah, the shit. flavor for it. So it's 10 more calories, obviously, with it. But, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to challenge myself one day, you know what I'm saying, to do that. Real, pop, real soon, too. It has, to be, it has to be a weird day, though. Like, I don't know, because it'd be higher. But probably like a weekend day. I think, I think when you're bored or not doing anything, I think that's when you think about food the most. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you at the house, like I had to do it at a work day. That's when I fast and like at a work day. Like, you know, I take my vitamins, whatever, get the kids ready, boom, 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 go to work, be at work for a couple hours. I'd be like, damn, it's 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. I mean, you know what I mean? I, I should eat something. Sometimes I'd be like, I should no. eat something. And then sometimes I just go. And that's how I end up be at 12, 1 o'clock. You know what I mean? Sometimes my body, nigga, at 9 o'clock, man, nigga, you hungry. Yeah, it's to the body. But shoot, yeah, yeah. I'll be like dinner at six. <coughs> dinner at six PM. Now nah, them them niggas as I said, them bodybuilders and people that be falling at that one meal a day shit. Yeah, niggas, pretty much. Man, that's that's the one real meal a day. Cause they do be like, I got you some couple of little nuts paws. They be like the nuts and protein shake and then right. you know, I have a protein shake with lunch with a uh, dinner and that's it. That's my meal for day. I had a protein cookie today. I mean, a, a vegan cookie today. Yeah. That's all. And water. And that, you know. So you had all, that's all you had all day? Yeah. Like I said, man, salute to you, man. Because you, cause what it is, is you do feel like, damn, my stomach a little, a little bloated maybe. Yeah. Feeling on that. But <clears throat> what it is, you get past that. It's like with anything. 
with the spice and all with spicy and all that. It's like a little like a euphoric thing. But like you get past that and then it's like it turn kinda turned into energy. Cause what it is is your body is looking for that food energy. Right. But when you don't eat it, now it's okay, we gotta find that in the body. So yeah. it targets it the fats. It, yeah, right. The fats make the energy. Yeah. So like you do get an energy boost because now it's working off the fats that you know. Yeah, like, work off something, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I forgot this. It's it, it's a it's a it's a it's a fig bar though. That's yeah. Uh, fig them fig bars joint. The, the fig bars, but that's 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 uh, the plant based though ones. Yeah, I, I got they are good. Yeah, yeah and they are motherfuckers. And, and according to according to my friend, those are the ones. They those good. The one? yeah, 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 they good. Okay. Like what, what? Oh, I feel good about it. Cause <laughs> I read some of the shit. And it wasn't the best, but like you said, it's still. Uh, vegetarian, so yeah, they gave me one. They gave me one, and I was like, "Yeah, I fuck with these. I, I ain't okay." Yeah, nah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try the, the apple one. I think it's the apple one, the mm -hmm. green one. I get the green. Got the regular fig. Yeah, I be getting the yeah. cheese. Yeah, like I said, I do certain shit where I eat the healthiest. Definitely, I drink. You know, ninety percent of my drink is water. Agua. Yeah, it's water throughout the day. I get my little, you know what I mean, little energy drink or whatever, which is the. Uh, Celsius, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, it's water. Water is some Celsius, man, today, man. You know what I'm saying? Word. Like you said, though, health is both. I know we got into another... Ca we started and we ended with nutrition and health. <laughs> and, and That's a beautiful thing, man. Nah, That's for real. Thing. Like, because it, it, it means we're thinking right. It all means. around around sports, too. If you ain't healthy, man, you know nah, man? Yeah. if you ain't healthy, you, you ain't doing you shit. Doing? You ain't doing shit. You ain't gonna be on the cover of sports playing TV. video games. Exactly. Well, I mean, I guess they ain't bad out there. Nah, but. nah, them, them motherfuckers getting checks too. <laughs> they it might not be the healthier, but they getting checks too on these bitch. Or, well, well, hey, friend. yo, it's episode 216. 216? What you, know you doing at 16? What I was doing at 16? Just playing sports. Playing sports. You got hurt at 16? Was you hurt? I, that might have been the year I was coming back. I played baseball that year still. Okay. You didn't come back and play baseball. Yeah, I wasn't playing, so I wanna play second base, so I ain't had to move like that. Right. They trapped with me at third and I was I, I was I had a third too, but then it was like it was the spring break shit and then we had lived in Rochester, so it was like a snowstorm in spring break. <laughs> we came back into right, right. <laughs> Metal rides sitting there like right. with the ankle right. shit on and all that, just still playing though. Right, right. Yeah, sixteen I was driving all that shit, you know, I got my shit early. Well, I got my shit I that's what I was driving like 17, 18. Yeah, nah. See, my 16 wasn't wasn't the greatest. I ain't going. Well, like that. Yeah. Just that five months, whatever. It was like, no, it wasn't that great. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, again, compared to that, that, that mm. November, I was 15 going on 16. So, yeah. That wasn't the greatest. But, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was driving, whipping and riding at 16. Literally on my 16th birthday, I got everything. So, I was driving. Hey. Permit, calm. Going everywhere. <laughs> well, you need a parent. All right, he there. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's what you said. I say, right. I'm going to try. You got to ride with a parent. Yeah, all right. Ride with my niggas. In spirit. Nigga. Right, ride with my niggas, nigga. We was motherfucking living anywhere. Well, well yeah. yo, man, it's your boy, Henny Drake. It's John John. And this is The Fan yeah, Perspective. Perspective. Here yeah. we out. Peace. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. All that good shit. <laughs>